So yeah I'm finally back with second part of my video. I made a poll on my wall and you decided that this part will be about Lisa. I will make another one to decide whether next part will be about Jisoo or Jenny. Before getting into the video I would like to thank you for the views under Rose's part. To be honest I really doubted that it would reach the attention that it did, so thank you very much again. Hopefully you won't be disappointed with this part as well. Quick disclaimer this video will be my opinion and my thoughts. I understand our view on this situation may be different but I hope there won't be any attacks like before where I have seen a lot of attacks towards me and Jenny in comment section. I wanted to explain why I decided to make this series. As Blink since 2016 I've been through a lot but this clear mistreatment started to trigger me since last year. I get that Rosie may not be the most popular member but I just want the stylists to show same amount of effort to every member. Other thing a lot of people have been saying that she may like her fits. That may be true so I won't argue with that but it's pretty clear that they are too short and unpractical for her. Same for her shoes I get that those two pairs may be very comfortable but she surely should have different pairs of shoes that are just as comfortable in case the other two pairs will break. I made several mistakes but I'm just human so I hope you will bear through that video. So let's get into the video. Similarly to Rose I feel like Lisa has been stuck with the same types of outfits, especially since the beginning of 2019. By that I mean pants or overalls with crop tops or fitted blouses. I really like those but I kinda wish there would be more variety for her as well. Unlike Rose at least her outfits are comfortable. That's a pro I guess. I have an idea. Why don't they give some of those crop top skirts to Lisa? Okay I was just joking. It may be just me but I have always felt like her outfits were either spot on or just honestly ugly and I think I finally know why. Lisa is always wearing experimental things such as different prints in one outfit which may work or not. The great example of that are those. Thankfully Lisa is beautiful and saves every outfit that she wears. Stylists should be thanking their gods that she looks good in no matter what she wears and makes it presentable enough. Another big problem which has been very obvious and talked about. Is Lisa wearing the same outfit swore by backup dancers in solo music video if I'm not wrong. To be honest I don't know how to feel about that. On the one side I'm just as mad as others but then our fandom likes to no offense but over exaggerate things. I feel that it wouldn't be such a big problem if at that time there wasn't that whole Jenny and her backup dancers slash friends controversy going on. I get it that some fans may not like that I brought it up again but I honestly think that it was a very big factor to that whole situation at the time. Thank God that Jun finally left the styling team and I hope new stylists won't make the same mistakes that she did during her time with Blackpink. Because I think her great ideas will hunt me till the day that I die. That's the biggest lie I have ever seen. Like the dreaded pins in Lisa's hair during Forever Young promotions. Yeah, this is the worst hair styling I have seen on Lisa since her debut. But I have to admit her styling in hair department and makeup department is flawless. Like no matter how much you hate Mang in terms of styling for Lisa she is untouchable. She gave her everything from nude lip to beautiful vibrant red lipstick. Even her eye makeup is flawless. I think I can honestly say that Lisa has the most variety when it comes to hairstyles and makeup. But that's just my opinion. So yeah, people may feel different about that.